Hey everyone, Captain Matt Arnold here from Forest Sport Fishing Magazine. You're about to watch some highlights from our last day of fishing in Playa del Carmen, New Mexico. And let me tell you, this was the most epic shooting trip I have ever been a part of. Okay, so here we are starting our third day off of Playa del Carmen, Mexico with Wherever Fishing Expeditions. And this spot here, uh, Captain Roberto, he saw it on his bottom finder and it wasn't a mark spot that he had, but he said, let's stop here, it looks good. And here we go. Oh, bottom. No, it fucking ripping it up way fast. Yeah. Ripping it up as fast as I can to feed jerk it. Right. Oh, oh, I pulled him off. No, he's on there, he's coming up, he's coming up. Drop, 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 drop. Yeah, I said, you know what? Let me just try to burn him up. I said, that's what I was doing. I just heard him. Wah, 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 wah. Boom. Yeah, jump all the way down that and then rip it up to like maybe 100 feet. Oh, it's off. It's off. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. He's just swimming so fast. What happened? Or, or another one just ate it. I don't know. He's just swimming out like crazy. Maybe I lost it. I might have lost it. I'm on, dude. I'm on a good fish here. Oh. No, I lost him again. No, no he's gone now. What the hell, bro? What? No. I lost it as well. I got, but I lost one and I got another one. I'm on again, boys! I'm on! I said, dude, did you not see me jerking? No. Oh my gosh, I was ripping his face off. It all depends where they are. Okay, so at this point, I had been fighting this fish for about 10 minutes now. I was well into the fight, but I knew I had a long way to go. It was a big fish. I didn't know exactly what it was, but I knew it was big. Now, Colton and George, as you saw, were in the back. They were hooking fish, losing fish. And so we were in the strike zone, all right? Their jigs were in the primo zone. This was a spot that the captain found, you know, wasn't marked, but it ended up being one of the best spots, if not the best spot of the entire trip. We dropped, instantly we're getting bites. This was my first drop. I got bit immediately and I got a great piece of advice from Colton. He said they were going for a really fast jig. So he told me to hit bottom, speed it all the way up about 100 feet and about halfway up about like 50 feet off the bottom i got hammered i thought it had to be a queen since it was that far up but i was in for a big surprise here check it out this is going to be an awesome fight i had the time of my life guys this this feels like a big big queen here i'm, I'm hand cranking on a little a little diewa 20 here on a saltus 20 pound braid and this has got to be 
just, you know, there's there can't be a lot of places on the planet where you could, you know, stay straight up and down. No electrics, you don't need them, they help. You don't need them though. I mean, we're, we're fishing in almost a thousand feet here. What do you think, Cap? You need them? <laughs> you spot, I'm happy, 1,000 feet and fish biting. It's really good size queen snapper, so. Right? We're working on it, we're working on it. They don't call me the hand crank hard ass for nothing. No color yet, but we're getting close. Craziest fight. And I mean, these are long, drawn out battles. You just gotta take it easy. You can't overpower them. You really gotta, you know, after you set that, that hook really good, just, it's all about technique, steady movements, no crazy rod movements, anything like that. Sorry. It's got to be close soon. Hey. There he is. Deep color. Deep color. Oh, yeah, deep yeah, yeah. color. Dip, 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 dip. Come on, big daddy. Come on, big daddy. Floating. Whoa! Not a bobble. That's a good sign. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Not just queens, they can. This whole trip, pretty much. That's jig right there. How big is that fish? Like 40 pounds? He's 40 pounds. 40, 40 easy. Sounds like baby. A 40 wow, oh, baby. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Absolute giant. <laughs> Guys. Oh my goodness. If you want the fish of a lifetime on a jig, no less, this gentleman right here, Captain Roberto. It's a team effort. Wherever right? fishing it, expeditions, <laughs> it's a team effort, but it wouldn't happen without him on the wheel, man. Guys, if you want the fish of a lifetime, Captain Roberto from Wherever Fishing Expeditions, oh my goodness. Jig Pro, got him on. Jig Pro, no fishing products only. Okay. Wow. Holy Amazing. Look at this God. grouper. Look at this grouper. What a beast. Holy Good one. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hold, hold on, let me get the This is what we came for after a bunch of huge queens yesterday. I mean, we caught the oar fish this morning, and now, how about this for icing on the cake? Hand cranked in a thousand feet on a brand new spot that, you know, the captain just said looks looks good here, let's drop. And man, was he right. Oh my Fish good. of a lifetime, oh. I'm shaking. This is unbelievable. my whole now we've got this big snowy grouper up and you can see, look at that mouth. We knew it was a giant. He floated up, scoped out a little bit, classic telltale sign of a grouper. Colton with the awesome assist here. We were stoked. Check out this fish, guys. That thing, I mean, I was really, really working it. So he must have seen it and he just went, way up. went I, like I'm hungry and just went way up for it. That's the thing. George and I both hooked fish, like speed jigging, like probably 50, 75, 100 feet off the bottom. So we said, Matt, do that, whip it up. I'm like, rip, rip, rip. He's pumping, 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 and boom. Well, and I don't run, know, that, that grouper was way up the there. The first run that that grouper, that go, you're like 100, 100, 100 feet, right? The yeah. first one, he goes, Oh, he took a bunch of lines. Okay, so here we go for another drift on that same spot. We were really eager to get our jigs back down despite the fact that he had just landed a big snowy grouper. We knew there were more quality fish down there. 
We had missed a few bites on the first drift, so this was our shot at redemption. Now, before I keep going, I have to give a monster shout out here to our captain, Roberto. He did an amazing job keeping that boat over top of the spot the whole time, through the wind, through the current. He was manning that helm and we stayed vertical, no tangles, three jigs in the water at all times and about a thousand feet, a little more even. And he did just a masterful job on the wheel. Can't thank him enough for his efforts along with his first mate, Tony. Worked his butt off the whole time, had a great attitude. We had a great time with these guys. Great fishermen, better human beings. Now, here's Colton on a big bite. Unfortunately, this was a quality fish that we couldn't keep glued. They were tough here again. We were fishing about a thousand feet down and you're not gonna land them all. That's just the sad truth. But the key is stick with it. You know, you're gonna get tired, it's deep water, but keep dropping the jig down because as you witnessed a couple minutes ago, you never know when you're gonna hook the fish of a lifetime. It could be you, it could be your buddy next to you. And you know, another thing, you gotta be ready to drop your rod and help your buddy out. I'm so grateful that when I hooked my fish, George and Colton, they dropped their rods and they helped me out. That was a full team effort. And honestly, I don't know if I could have landed that fish if not for those guys helping me out. So. You know, I was ready here to help help them out. We knew there were more big bites to come, big fish down there. And we had a feeling that we had another grouper coming. It was a really good area. Now, with that said, here's George on a monster bite. Let's see what it is. monster um, the hole actually came out dropped again right on the bottom boom I'm hooked up well I think is possibly a snowy grouper for the way he's fighting uh, Matt grabbed the camera and Tony right actually the dropped the jig and he's hooked as well uh, the craziest. this is the craziest bite that we had the whole trip it's just non-stop amazing and uh, I'm just excited to see the fish. Um, I mean, there is, at this point, you guys have seen the last couple of days. This is the last day. I mean, epic, epic, epic trip. And I'm just so thankful for the captain and the guys. And, uh, you know, this is how it is. You gotta come out here. Great people, great friends, good time. And eventually, you get a fish of a lifetime. This is what it's all about. So, I'm just excited to be able to show you this, guys. Oh no. What is it? Giant Soki, French Oh my goodness! You have pieces! Oh, the jig! It's the Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Tony, you still pulling a lot. You know, straight the tail gets. How close are you? About 80 guys. He's floating. Here he is. See, I see the bubbles. Another big grouper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Holy crap. Best feeling in the world. When it when comes to feel huh? I feel like on top of the pool. I don't know how I'm Junior, come on, son. Holy oh, wow. 
George. <laughs> Say, just enjoying every second. Look at this super slob. Bottom hook, barely in him. Here, George. Oh, son. Yeah! Got him on. <laughs> Got him on. Way to go, dude. Insane. What a beauty. That is my favorite piece to What a beauty. Wow. Amazing. I, ha I have no words. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just, <laughs> no, grab your face. Beauty, beauty. Nice. Ooh. Solid, 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 solid. Makes bottom hooks this time, right on the corner of the mouth. Like mat, mat fish, same thing. This thing is solid, it's heavy. Very heavy fish. Beautiful, nice eating. Um, and yeah, and look at the size of the mouth. Amazing. Look at that, another big, beautiful snowy grouper, almost a carbon copy of the last one. Same jig, George added another single hook on that top to you know, give him a better hook set, but it was that bottom single 5-0 assist hook that did the trick. Beautiful fish. Brother. Rock the brother. Gonna go sleep with this. Rock the pod, baby. Rock the pod, Georgie. Way to go. Oh, yeah. Right. Nice to Way to go, go, Georgie. Let's go. You gotta get one, but come on. What do you want? That just came out of the mouth of the snowy grouper. Uh, I mean, guys, I have no words. Like, keep on watching. As we motored back into the marina on our final day of fishing, we had many emotions running through our minds. Mainly gratitude. We could not have been more thankful for our captain, Roberto Navarro of Wherever Fishing Expeditions, and his first mate, Tony. They showed us an incredible time, and they're the utmost professionals who know this area like the back of their hand. Once we got off the plane, we loaded our gear into a van, made a short trip to the marina, jumped on the boat, and in mere minutes, just a few miles offshore, we were hooked up to giant queen snapper. As the trip went on, we caught plenty more queens, wenchman snapper, yellow eye snapper, blackfin tuna, rainbow runner, mahi, an exotic channel scabbard, and two big snowy grouper to top it all off. As an added bonus, we were able to bring our fresh cash back every night to a local restaurant where it was cooked up to perfection and we enjoyed every last bite. I can tell you that we can't wait to come back here and rejoin our team here with Jig Pro equipment to drop more jigs in these uncharted waters to catch more trophy fish. It's an amazing experience and we can't recommend it enough. All year round these guys offer jigging trips that will put plenty of fish in the box and they use exclusively Jig Pro gear that you can trust. We can't wait to come back and we hope you at some point enjoy this trip too. So we've had a totally epic trip here with Wherever Expeditions, Captain Roberto Navarro down here in Playa del Carmen, Jig Pro, Four Sports Fishing Magazine, um, smoked him every single day. It's the best jigging that we've all ever seen in our life. Um, it seems like every day Captain had said, oh, let's go try this experimental spot, and sure enough, smoked him on it. <laughs> what a trip. Great friends, um, you know, great camaraderie, great food, just awesome time. Could not recommend it more. Come down, give him a holler, check out Jig Pro, and it, I mean, this is what it's all about, you know?